Not many people in America thought Oklahoma could win the national title. Just me and our next guest, Buddy Heald, who joins us now. Buddy, how are our Sooners doing today? Uh, we're doing great. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. As long as, as long as you guys are doing well, I'm doing well. But, you know, these people who tell you that they picked you to go this far, I picked you guys at the beginning of the tournament. It's on paper, so you have my word. I'm going to be there in Houston nice. to watch the Sooners. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Do not let me down, buddy, okay? I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't do that for sure. All right. Did you pick Oklahoma to win it all when the tournament started? Uh, you know, I don't feel no back it out, but uh, for sure, I just work with my team and as well as we're capable of doing. And I know that I know that we are capable of doing. So, uh, you know, I have confidence us all year, all seasons, and uh, and it was the perfect time to get hot again. So uh, I just have confidence with my team. I know we're going to work with making a nice run. Do you have the green light to shoot whenever you want to? I mean, uh, I, won't, I won't say it like that, but uh, <laughs> I know my team, my, co- my coaches give me the confidence to shoot the ball. But, uh, yeah, I just, but take, yeah, I have the green light, but just take some more shots when I'm shooting, though. I liked it. I like that, that, that mentality. Now, did you know Kobe Bryant was there at the game? Uh, you mean that Auburn game? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, at first I didn't, I didn't saw him at first, but then after that, I think that we were in the layup line and I see everybody just start showing some, like, putting their phones out and I was like, okay, only one person you can put your phone out and that got to be Kobe Bryant because, uh, everybody start like, he had start whispers and, like, everybody started saying Kobe and, uh, so at that point I know he's inside the gym, so I, I kind of got happy. Did you talk to him? Uh, uh, after the game? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't talk to him after the game. I think he, I think he, he, he get up and left. But uh, no, I, I talked to him the the, the Duke Oregon game. I guess it was exchange words with him a little bit, and uh, he no, he was he was cool and everything. What did did he have words of advice? Uh, uh, he just he just he just told me to uh, just, you know, stay confident. And, uh, we just talking, and uh, I was I was I was speechless, you know, because uh, <laughs> you know you you meet your idol. You, you, you don't know what to say, so I was kind of speechless. So uh, he just told me to keep my head up, and uh, I asked him he's gonna be the game the next fall the night. And he's like, "Yeah, I only live ten minutes away." So uh, he showed up. So I, I even made my day. You could be playing for the Lakers next year, buddy. You could take Kobe's place uh, next year. Oh, that'll be uh, that'll, that'll be cool. But uh, no, I can't I can't worry about it right now. I got to worry about just kind of stay focused and uh, you no know, trying to finish this, this, this final four run and uh, trying to win a national championship. How much basketball were you able to watch in the Bahamas growing up? Uh, a lot, you know. And I start watching a lot when I was like mid, like when I was ten, eleven, and I just fell in love with the game. And uh, I just love watching Kobe. You know, from I was a little, from I was a little kid, and I uh, did you play? He made other... me believe a lot, you know. And I did you play other sports? Yeah, I run track. That was it. I just run track. Were you good? Yeah, I was. I was always. I was good in everything I did. I was <laughs> one of those athletes that can, that can do it all. <laughs> so, uh, so I was one of the athletes that can do it all. I was. I was pretty good running all night. I had a decent track career ahead of me. So, uh, you know, I, I turned it down because I fell in love with basketball so much. If you could meet Kobe, have dinner with Kobe or Usain Bolt. Kobe. Oh, okay. But okay, you go to Kansas. Kobe, Kobe. How did you not end up at Kansas? Uh, you know, Kansas really, they, they recruited, they, they really recruited me. They really recruited me. Uh, they, they, they really recruited me, but, uh, you know, I, I just felt like Oklahoma was a spot for me to be at, you know, and, uh, and I was not that five-star recruit and, uh, coming to Kansas and not, I didn't say I didn't have confidence going there, but, uh, I just believe that, you know, Oklahoma would be a better fit for me in my playing time. He's a buddy healed from my Oklahoma Sooners joining us, Dan Patrick show. I, I love the nickname, Buddy, and uh, f- real first name is Shivano. Uh, yeah, who, t- who, t- who told you that? I got researchers, buddy. Nobody should know that. Yeah, I got a. I, you got researchers. Yeah, I had a game plan going into to this. So, Sh- uh, yeah, Shivano. Shivano is my real name. Okay. Yes, sir. And then now, you tell like me. That? I like Shivano. I, I like Shivano. That's cool. Yeah, I'd go with Shivano. When I go to the NBA, I'd go Shivano instead of Buddy. Why you don't like you don't, you don't like Buddy? I like you Buddy. Call me Buddy Love down here. I, I love Buddy, but Shivano just I don't know. 
There's nobody else named Shivano. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. But uh, it's because of cool name, though. Okay, clear this up of where Buddy came from. Now, here's the rumor. Mom, big okay. fan of Married with Children, and she thought right. that you looked like Bud Bundy. Yeah, I, I, I was I was a red baby growing up. I was really red, uh, you know. Uh, I was really red growing up, and uh, my, my mom, my mom, I was like two months old. And my mom and a friend, Cal, was sitting in the bed, and they saw me, and they was like, "He looks just like Bud Bundy, like Bud," and uh, and it, so uh, and after that, it's like. Cause I was really red growing up, and uh, and after that, they just t- turned into Buddy. So uh, if you talk to my mom, she knows the whole the whole whole story. So uh, that's all they told me about it. And, uh, and after that, they told me uh, Bud Bundy was a uh, was a white actress, and uh, <laughs> you know everybody always everybody always tell me that. And it was like, how can you even after somebody who was you know? So uh, I just was like, you know, I was a red baby growing up. So I'm just so they just changed to Buddy. So you were red. Yeah, I was like red growing up. I was very red growing up. <laughs> have you have you seen the show? No, I saw, I saw a little of it. Just a little. Bit. I never watched the show. It's, it's just not my style, you know. I like I like <laughs> watching all those cartoons and like all those other movies. Uh, it was not my type of show. Uh, good luck next week. And just remember, when you're you're playing against Villanova. You're you're playing for me, so think of me when you're out there lighting it up. Okay, okay? I mean, not that, I'm not asking too much, you. buddy. No, I know, I know, I know. You're not asking too much, but I got you for sure. No doubt. He's Shivano, buddy, healed of my Oklahoma Sooners, buddy. Congrats uh, and good luck. All right, thank you so much. Have a good All day. Right, there you go. Well, we cleared that up. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs>